It is currently 9.34 in the morning and I've just woken up because last night I booked myself in to get a tattoo. The guy who did my arrow tattoo, he's called Anthony Fleming, he said he's got some time at 10 o'clock before his first appointment and because the tattoo that I want to get is really small, I thought it'd be the perfect time to go get it. I've got another tattoo. He said it was probably the quickest tattoo he's ever done. It took him like five minutes to do. He was like, I'm not even sure if that counts as a tattoo. Mm -hmm. Definitely does it hurt. I'm glad it was only a little one on my foot though because that was quite painful. So to have like a really, really big one on my foot would have been a bit too much. But this is just a tiny, tiny tattoo. I just really want it. So, woohoo, yeah. So I'm home now and I've got another tattoo and I'm really happy with it. I love it so much. It looks like this and it is Morse code for hope. Hope being my middle name and something that I very much believe in. The reason it's a Morse code is because I like the idea that when people see it, they don't immediately know what it means. It's sort of like my little secret. And when I was at school, I really loved history. I was really into history and I loved learning about the 1940s and World War II and that kind of era. And ever since I learned about Morse code from my history lessons, I thought it was one of the coolest things ever. I don't know why, I just did. And I remember, oh my God, I just had this really weird flashback. I used to have, or my brother used to have, and I pinched it, this little Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles thing. And it had the Morse code alphabet on it. And when you press the button, it'd make this really annoying beeping sound. And I remember playing with that all the time and like tapping out messages and stuff. I cannot believe I just had that flashback. That must have been in my subconscious somewhere when I was like, yeah, Morse code. I want my tattoo in Morse code. That's really weird. I wonder if I still have that somewhere. I have about an hour and a half before I need to go to rehearsals because we've got new kids joining the show. Three sets of new kids. Little Epony and Little Cosette don't usually get to bow at the end of the show. However, on their last matinee, they do. They get to have a bow with me and Fontaine. People ask me all the time, what, like, what's the best thing about playing Eponine? That's one of the highlights. Taking the kids on for their last bow is definitely one of the best parts of my job. Because I remember being that little Eponine. I remember being that little excited kid who was unbelievably excited to run on and do a bow for the first and last time. Because now that I'm an adult, I look back and remember my time as little Eponine and I'm so thankful to all of the adults who spent time playing with me as a kid and, you know, made me feel welcome and like I was part of the cast. They sort of taught me how you treat children in a show. And now that I am the adult in the show, now that I am part of the adult cast, I feel very grateful that I'm very aware of what makes a show exciting for kids and what it is about the whole experience of being in a show for them that they will remember when they get to my age. It was one of our little Gavroche's final performance last night. His name is Zach Lester and before he left he promised me that he would watch all of my YouTube videos. So hello Zach if you're watching. And I don't think the kids realise how much they impact our show as well. Sometimes their excitement and their undeniable joy is extremely contagious which is exactly what you need for an eight show week sometimes. So yeah, I just wanted to share how uh, grateful and lucky I feel that I have got to experience being a child in a show and being an adult in the show and I feel like that has well equipped me um, with the knowledge of how to work with kids in theatre because I remember being that kid, I remember what was so special about the way that the adults treated me in the show and now I get to replicate that as an adult for the kids that I'm working with and I think that's really cool. Yeah, I am going to reply to some letters which are in this big sturdy box here and then I'm gonna go to rehearsals. Hope you all have a good day. Hello, I am now back in my flat. I haven't been at my flat for the last few days which is why my videos have been uh, few and far between because I left my camera here so I didn't have my camera to film. 